I've been craving to go to the mountains. Every time I go to the city, I see snow-covered mountains in the distance, and my soul just longs to be there, feeling the wind and seeing the horizon and everything that leads up to it. Plus, I haven't been on a hike for a couple of weeks now, so a good healthy dose of nature is definitely long overdue. But first, I need to finish making the calendula skin oil I started last year. The calendula flowers are from my garden. I dried them last year and infused olive oil with the dried flowers for a few weeks. Now they are ready to be a strain so I can add the beautiful healing oil to my face and body oil uh, or just use it neat. Um, calendula is an amazing ingredient in skincare and treatment products. It is healing. So it's good for dry or irritated skin, uh, rashes to heal allergic reaction, even diaper rashes. It is good for wound healing, decreases inflammation, it helps with collagen in the skin and new tissue growth. So it's a great uh, oil uh, that you can make yourself. There are many benefits of taking calendula internally too. Uh, there are many studies and articles that explain and show the benefits of this medicinal plant. So I will definitely plant some more calendula flowers in my garden this spring. They're very easy to grow. So I have um, this cotton cloth or cheesecloth um, that I'm using to strain the oil. It takes about two weeks to infuse the oil with the uh, calendula essence so I just um, used extra virgin olive oil you can use anything that is not highly processed and just set it in the jar a glass jar somewhere and let it do its work so I'm squeezing every bit of oil out of these flowers. Don't want to waste any of it, so. The bottle neck is a little too small for the funnel, so I'll have to pour without the funnel and try to be super careful not to spill the precious oil. I'm using an old skin oil bottle, um, I just took off the label, washed it, and I do love the, uh, the, the color of the glass of this bottle, it's dark, so the oil is UV protected. Such a neat little bottle, I love it. So, um, yeah, it's time to uh, get ready to go to the mountains. dose of uh, nature. Uh, it is said that people are nowadays nature deficient. So we decided to, well I decided to go to 
the nearby mountains and look at this view isn't this beautiful uh, it's actually a ski slope right now that we're walking on or next to but oh, there's no one here just Aspen and I windy today. I uh, don't know how it's gonna come through the speakers but yeah uh, it is very challenging to walk up the hill but I really want to get to the top of the mountain and see the view. Uh, not sure if the sun is rising or setting. I guess it's quite dark and the sun should have risen already. So maybe we're just getting a glimpse of a sunset today. <sighs> Look at this here. But we'll try to get another one from the other side when we get to the top of the mountain.
skis or snowmobiles. Cute little cottages. here. One, to take this route. Looks like this is for snowmobiles. And option number two is this one where you can ski and hike, but you cannot use your snowmobile. This path. Oh, look how nice. It already has uh, tracks for skiing, cross-country skiing. Well, we'll try to avoid stepping into them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yes, we will not walk on the ski tracks. Oh, we'll try to avoid them. Hello. The other path would have been so much nicer to walk on because it's pressed. Huh. Well, says not to use it. Or am I wrong? I don't know. Well, I guess check it out, but I'm sinking in. I'm totally sinking. So that's not a good option, and Aspen is walking on the tracks. That's not good either. What are we gonna do? didn't get to see any reindeer today. Oh well. There we are. Did back down without falling down. Super slippery, super windy. And uh, definitely want to come back here with the family and ski. Probably not downhill, more cross country for me. Um, but we all made it except uh, a glove lost it on the slopes just slid down and aspen tried so heroically to get it back but it just was sliding further down and down and i guess she just thought that it was going too far she was sliding too when she made it back up hit the hill and um we went back to look for it, but we couldn't find it. So I guess I'll need some new gloves. Now it's time for us to drive back home.
way, I made this exquisite marble banana bread. Too delicious not to share the recipe. The recipe is actually not mine. I just added cocoa powder and powdered sugar to half of the batter. But it is too good not to pass along. So I will link the recipe in the description box. If you try it out, let me know how you like it.